Hey there, Sagittarius. Good afternoon. And welcome to your January 2021 tarot reading. Welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. My name is Carrie. I'm excited to share your January astrological forecast with you, coupled with your tarot reading for January. So, Sagittarius, I'm excited to have you here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's great to have you here. I hope you enjoy my energy, my style of reading. It's very calm, it's very relaxed, soothing background music. So if you're here, just take the time to settle in and get comfortable. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I know we have a lot of Sagittarius soul family members that have subscribed. So it's great to connect with all of you. So Sagittarius, today is Wednesday, December the 30th. Time on my end is 1.26 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So, it's great to be here with you. I'm really, really looking forward to your tarot reading. I've, Sagittarius, I've, I pulled an affirmation card for you already, and I pulled three energies just to get started with your tarot reading. To take us into your reading, right? And I've had a chance to really look at and meditate on these energies. and We're going to have a fantastic tarot read for you today. Um, and then we're going to have some fun. We're going to talk about just some fun facts that are connected to Sagittarian energy. Uh, and then we're going to step in and do your astrological forecast, your astrological horoscope for January. I need to point out I'm not an astrologer. I learn from astrologers. So I'm taking that that I've learned from the professionals and I'm just sharing it with you. And really I'm just giving you the highlights. So we're going to go through the month of January. We're going to look and see which planets are going to be moving into which houses specifically for you Sagittarius what those energies are going to bring in your life. And I'm going to do my best at kind of giving you a good idea of what to expect and anticipate with those energies. Point out the key dates throughout January where you'll experience these energies. So this astrological horoscope and forecast, it applies for your sun, moon, or rising sign. But I need to mention, there's an emphasis on your rising sign energy, right? So if you're here and you're Sagittarius sun, but you're your, your rising sign is Virgo energy. You may want to watch, go to the Virgo tarot reading and watch the beginning of the Virgo forecast and just go by that rising energy. Just thoughts and suggestions. Um, so I'm going to point out key dates throughout the month and inform you on these energies to better prepare you stepping into the month of January. And Sagittarius, I have to, you're going to have many of you that are resonating with this reading today, you're going to have a fantastic month. Okay, let's get started. Uh, let's begin by just having some fun for a couple minutes here. Let's just talk about some fun facts that are commonly found amongst the Sagittarius energy. If you're Sagittarius and these don't resonate, don't get too offended. Sagittarians usually have the type of personality that allows you to drop any defenses and just be yourself, right? So you're very well-rounded and very diverse. The kind of energy that gives people the opportunity to feel comfortable being around you. It gives them a chance to be authentic and to be vulnerable. You're safe. It's a great thing. Sagittarius, the philosopher, the comic, the optimist, the nomad, the wanderer, the free spirit, the freedom fighter, the restless, the blunt, the truth finder. Wow, I loved all of those. Fantastic for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, the type of person to sing at the top of their lungs, even if it's off key, you have a great sense of humor, which a sense of humor is just such an important quality to have for each and every one of us. So here we are, Sagittarius, stepping into a brand new year. We're on the 30th right now, so we're just on the cusp of this. Let's talk about your astrological forecast. So happy new year to all of you. It's great to be stepping into 2021, new changes. We're going to talk about changes for you, Sagittarius. Uh, keep in mind, you know, stepping into a brand new year, this is a perfect time to, for changes. Perfect time to be able to create a whole new world for ourselves. <laughs> I'm giving you some hints, Sagittarius. Um, a perfect time to set some new intentions for yourself. What goals do you have? What experiences did you want to have take place this past year that you didn't get a chance to experience? Are they still alive in you? Do you want to experience them this year? Think about these things. Put together a plan for yourself. Set some great intentions. All right, Sagittarius. 
Let's get into your tarot reading, or let's get into your astrological forecast. So this is going to give us a big picture look energetically of what's taking place. And then we're going to hone in more specifically and do a tarot reading so we can see how some of these energies are going to manifest more specifically for you. Okay, Sagittarius, on the 7th of January, we have the planet Mars, so the planet of action. It moves into your 6th house and joins the planet Uranus. Wherever Mars transits, in this case, it's in your 6th house, it serves you well to invest energies in these areas in, in your life. So the 6th house is about your physical body, right? Even to the extent of your world, right? Your physical environment around you, as well as like the service, the contributions that you're making you know, towards others. The sixth house is about our physical health and the service we give back to the world. The planet Uranus is encouraging you to be different, to take some chances and to try something new. Strange and different. Perhaps you are studying different diets or considering a new exercise routine. This is a great time to learn something new about yourself. Where do you contribute your time and energy and give back to society, give back to the collective? Consider donating to a new group or an organization. Who knows who you're going to meet, what opportunities, doors are going to open up because you put yourself out there. Okay, Sagittarius, on the 9th of January, we have the planet Mercury, the planet of communications. It moves into your third house of thinking, thoughts, and communication. Also on the 9th, the planet Venus moves into your second house of finances. And then on the 13th of January, you have a new moon also happening in your second house of finances. So a lot happening for you, Sagittarius, in your second and third houses. This energy may bring some of you a new beginning as far as your finances are concerned. A new job, a raise, a promotion, a transfer, you may be relocating. Some of you may make a change to go a completely different direction, to just take a chance. You may be exploring and considering talents and gifts that you have that are valuable. How can you put these unique talents and gifts to work for you? If you can connect yourself with these energies, you may find yourself surrounding yourself with new financial opportunities, maybe the opportunity to create a second stream of income for yourself. Sagittarius, on the 20th of January, we have the sun moving into your fourth house. Fourth house is about the home and the family. So the sun is shining a light on you and your home and your family. So some of you, you may be relocating your home, moving, right? Making a drastic change in your life. But this is about just making changes, making changes to your home that, that, that make it more inviting, make it more vibrant, you know. For example, take the time to like clean and organize the garage and get rid of all the clutter. Right. And once that's done, now every time when you pull into the garage, it looks completely different, right? So f you're a chance to really feel those changes. Maybe remodel, redecorate, move the furniture around, move pictures around on your walls. Maybe put up some of those Christmas gifts that you got. Okay, Sagittarius, on the 28th, we have a full moon happening in your, your house, the ninth house of expansion and beliefs. This is a great time to learn and expand your mind. Some of you may be thinking about the metaphysical matters at this time. Metaphysical meaning interest in astrology, tarot, numerology, studying and learning about energy, crystals, healing, studying human nature. Then on the 30th of January, we have a full moon. Or excuse me, 30th of, of January. We have a Mercury going retrograde until February the 21st. Uh, so anytime Mercury goes retrogrades, if you're in contracts or in negotiations right now, perfect time to wrap those up. Um, finalize things. Um, save your files, back up your hard drives. Because when Mercury goes retrograde, it tends to impact our electronics. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get into your tarot reading now. And this is, this is why I've been smiling so much because I'm just excited to share this with you. You guys are going to have a fantastic month. So the affirmation that came out that takes us into your reading for the month of January it comes to us as courage. Here I am. I'm trying to connect myself with this beautiful, courageous energy. The number 17, which reduces back to an 8 as above, as above so below. By shining brave and true and bright, my courage now returns this night. By shining brave and true and bright, 
my courage now returns this night. By shining brave and true and bright, my courage now returns this night. Okay, so courage is a fantastic affirmation, important for Sagittarius energy going into the month of, of January. So why, why is courage so important for you in January? Tarot's gonna tell us. So here we have the five of fire coming out for you. So this is representing your energy right here. This is you. Five represents changes, right? So I'm in this energy, right? And I'm feeling this burning desire, fire within me to make a change. I need to make a change in my life. And it could be a change in relationships, changing friendships, changing my social circle, changing my job, changing where I live, but major, major changes. And just looking at this card a little more closely, notice the expression on her face. She looks bored. Right? So some of you may be feeling a little bit bored, feeling a little bit stuck right now, desperately desiring this change. Notice her hands. They look like they're kind of bound, right? So maybe some of you may be feeling a little bit bound right now, bound to your, to your present circumstances, whether it's a relationship or a job or just the everyday routine. Okay, so here we have you in this energy. Then we move over to the Page of Fire. Fantastic. So in this energy, I'm considering the possibilities. I'm thinking about things. When I'm, in fact, when I'm in this energy, I probably, for some of you, I feel like you've been in this energy for a little while. Maybe even to the point where when you go to bed at night, it's what you're thinking about. You're thinking about these changes that you want to make. And you could be feeling a little bit fearful right maybe even keeping you up a little bit at night because i desperately need to make a change but i've got some reservations making the changes so we go from this energy to the page of fire right so when i'm in this five of fire energy i have something on my mind a, a direction that i want to go i feel like that that is the case for many of you i feel like you're aware of this ener these energies already right and here i've made my choice i've made my decision and I'm imagining, right? This is kind of a, this is a very magical energy taking place at night, right? So when I'm in this energy, what am I doing? I'm seeing this change that I want to make in my life. I'm, I'm, I'm visualizing it, it happening, right? So much so that I'm giving myself the chance in my imagination to, it, it actually affects my body and affects the way I feel because now I'm beginning to feel excited. I'm feeling these emotions, right? That I'm looking forward to experiencing when I'm able to step into this change. So what you're doing in this energy, Sagittarius, is you're manifesting. This is magician kind of energy right here. You're visualizing it, picturing it happening, which is shifting your energy within you and when your energy changes within you, it changes your outside world. So you're attracting, you're manifesting these changes, right? These beautiful feelings and emotions coming into your life. It's fantastic. Okay, Sagittarius. Then we move over to the Three of Water. Talk about a change, right? I just went from fire to water. What did it take for me to, to experience this? It took courage my inner well of courage because I took a chance. And I feel like, you know, for many of you, you're, you're gonna go a totally different direction. So you're gonna do something totally new and exciting for yourself. And I have permagram because I'm excited for you. So here I am, I'm looking at these three pearls. How is it the pearls are created, right? Created with friction and time, right? I feel like this, the pearls are representing maybe my courage where when I'm in this energy and I'm experiencing all these beautiful new connections, new friendships. I mean, I've literally, I mean, I went from fire to water. So maybe like my whole surroundings are completely different now. A completely new circle of, of friends. Friends that are, that are enjoying this journey with me, right? So new connections. And I'm looking at the pearls and I'm reminded of the courage, right? That I used that brought me here. Courage of mind, body, and spirit. It's your courage that's gonna bring you this, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's get some clarification now. Sagittarius, I'm gonna use my crystal vision for the clarifiers. 
We have the star card right on the bottom of the deck. That's manifesting all of my hopes and dreams. Some of you, this, you know, going this, this direction, and I feel like it's going to be really different for you. See, this is going to take some courage for some of you. It's going to put you on the path, some of you, manifesting all of your hopes and dreams. Okay, let's ask about this Five of Fire. Tell us about the Five of Fire for Sagittarius, please. Five of Fire for Sagittarius. Five of Fire for Sagittarius, please. Wow, star card just came out for you, Sagittarius. I had a feeling that that star card was somehow connected to your reading. Some of you may be connected to an Aquarius in your life. Okay, so Sagittarius, this is what we're getting clarification on. We want to better understand this five of fire. I'm, I'm thinking about changes, right? I'm considering the different ideas, the different possibilities, directions that I could go. Maybe I'm feeling bored, maybe I'm feeling bound. Okay, so to clarify this energy, it's perfect for you, Sagittarius. Here we have the five of wands, right? So this is, this is notice the lions look alike. The three men with sticks look alike. If it represents harmony or it's disharmony, right? So I feel like this is, this is kind of representing the energy of a dis, the energy of disharmony that's probably taking place within you, right? Feeling very restless. And right? I'm not connected. To, I'm not passionate about this. I need to make a change, and, I, and I, this is my inner struggle, right? Because it's going to take courage for me to make this change. Which brings me over to the hanged man energy, right? So I'm feeling these energies needing a change. And again, here we see the five, right? And I'm thinking about it, right? But I'm not making a choice. I'm not making a decision yet. But the ideas are coming to me. Look at the illumination, right? I'm, I'm thinking of the kind of changes that I want to make. All right, Sagittarius. Okay, the next energies that come in for you to clarify this come to us as the Ten of Wands and attached to it is the Star card. So here I am in the Ten of Wands energy, right? Coming in as a Ten is a beautiful thing because this is the universe letting you know, right? That this wand journey that you've been on feels like it's been a long journey. The energies are available for you to be able to bring this journey to an ending, right? To make a change for yourself. So I can bring this journey to an ending, make this change and step into the energy of feeling like now I'm connected. Now I'm manifesting all of my hopes and dreams. I'm connected to who I truly am now. Feeling very balanced, balanced with my emotions, balanced with my presence here on earth. I'm not messing around. I'm not taking any chances on these hopes and dreams. I'm standing underneath eight stars because I want good luck and good fortune. Okay, Sagittarius, the next energy that comes in for you comes to us is the Eight of Pentacles, which is really interesting. Uh, this is a work energy, so coming in for a reason. I feel like, you know, this is connected to you, Sagittarius. Some of the, for some of you, the changes that, that you're desiring to make are connected to your work, right? Your career, what it is you do. Uh, so that energy is being represented here. The other energy that's being represented is I know that I can create this. I know that I can manifest this. Why? Because I'm a creator. And I know that it's going to take me work, right? Dedication and time, focus on my part in order to be able to create, manifest this change. I'm going to need the courage to do it. Okay. Loving, loving your reading, Sagittarius. Let's ask about this Page of Fire now. Tell us about the Page of Fire. Tell us about the Page of Fire. Okay, fantastic. So we have four energies that are coming out to clarify for us. 
this is where we're getting our clarif clarification. We want to better understand this page of fire. This is me dreaming, imagining, visualizing it, everything happening, the changes taking place. Beyond that, it's me taking action too, taking the steps. If I'm if I'm wanting to a job change, I'm having the courage, right? To put together my resume. I'm sending out that resume. I'm putting myself out there. I'm reconnecting friends from my past, letting them know I'm looking for a change in my life. I, I, I have no idea what opportunities are going to become available for me. It's kind of fantastic. So the clarifying energies that are coming in for you, Sagittarius. Here we have the two of wands, right? So I'm looking at the journey ahead. I'm visualizing it. I'm picturing it. Beyond that, look at the colors here. What are these colors making me feel? Make me feel passion, right? So I'm imagining it happening. I'm feeling passionate. I'm feeling the excitement. I'm feeling the optimism, the hope, the creativity, the energy that's connected to this. It's interesting. It's the Four of Wands, right? So this represents, for many, this would be the marriage card, right? So maybe I'm wanting to make a change and get serious in my relationship, and I'm wanting a commitment, you know? Uh, this could be a work-related energy as well, right? being very committed, right? I'm truly committed to stepping into this journey. I kind of feel like that's what it's representing for a lot of you. This is my commitment to this journey. I'm very determined. Okay. Sagittarius, the next energy is coming in to clarify us. Come to us as the judgment card, right? So I'm no longer, in the energy, right, of feeling stuck, right, where, where I'm feeling limitations in my life. I've, I've released myself from those. I've let go any limitations of maybe not being good enough, right, not being qualified enough, maybe not being ready enough, right? I've let go of those energies as well, right? So there's nothing holding me back. And what I'm counting on instead is I'm trusting my gut, I'm trusting my feeling, my intuition. And it's taking me towards a beginning. I'm manifesting when I'm in this energy because she's standing above a crescent moon. This represents unseen energy. What do magicians do? They move magic. They move energy invisibly. Okay, fantastic. Sagittarius, let's get one more clarification. Tell us more about this page of fire, please. Okay, Sagittarius, the next energy that comes to us, comes to us as the Devil card. So this represents the energy of Capricorn. You may have a Capricorn in your life. But here we have Pan in the background. Right? He's playing his tune, right? This tune, maybe he's it's connected to the, to the ego, right? So this is me overcoming this energy, right? The, the little whisperings that I get, that, that inner voice that maybe causes me to question myself at times. Am I not good enough? Am I qualified enough? Do I deserve these changes? He's playing this flute in the background, trying to woo her over here underneath this tree, and he's done a pretty good job on this energy in the card. But this is also representing the energy of passion, right? I am chasing and I am following my passion. And I feel like that is the case for some of you, right? Because this is fire energy, and fire is a very passionate energy. I'm going after my passions, my desires. All right, Sagittarius, now let's get some clarification on the Three of Water. This is the reward. This is the celebration, the victory. This is the change. I just went from fire to water. Okay, tell us about the Three of Water for Sagittarius, please. Tell us about the Three of Water for Sagittarius. Three of Water for Sagittarius, please. OK, 
Okay, Sagittarius. Here are the clarifiers that we have coming in for you. So this is we're looking at the celebration now, right? I'm experiencing now. I'm in this change. I'm ex I'm experiencing a totally for some of me, some of you maybe a whole different world, different environment. I went from fire to water. So maybe even new friends, new connections. Maybe I've relocated. So I went from the five of cups energy, right? I was desiring a change. Before I was focused on these three cups, right? Recognizing the disappointments, the setbacks. Maybe I've taken some chances before that didn't serve me very well. When I was stuck in this energy, it prevented me from seeing the opportunities that lie ahead of me, right? So I overcame this energy because I wanted to change, right? I wanted to create a new journey for myself. And here I am on this journey, looking at the journey that lies ahead. I take out my crystal ball and hold it up to the sun to see what this journey looks like. So the sun tells me I may be experiencing this journey with myself and with others. This is maybe your ray of light and then I'm kind of seeing maybe three rays of light here. It's interesting, three rays of light and it's three of wands. <clears throat> okay, Sagittarius. The next clarifying energies that come to us. Come to us as the Knight of Swords, right? So when I'm in this energy of the Three of Water, right? I'm experiencing the celebration, the connection. I'm feeling the changes. I'm mindful, right, of this Knight of Swords energy that came in and he brought me my truth. And my truth is putting me on the path now of feeling very independent, that I'm manifesting all of my own hopes and dreams, not the hopes and dreams of others, but your hopes and dreams, Sagittarius. Nine of Cups, that's what this represents. Earlier in your tarot reading, here we have the star card, manifesting your hopes and dreams. Okay. And then taking us out of your tarot reading, we have the Page of Swords, right? This is my, this is my, new, my new truth, right? This has changed my thinking entirely. I look at things differently. I experience life differently for myself. And I speak this truth, right, to others. I share it. I speak this truth to myself. I remind myself of this truth frequently. The truth of me feeling this burning desire. I need to make a change. Maybe feeling bound. Maybe feeling bored. And that I had the courage to make this change for myself. Okay. Wow, Sagittarius. I loved, loved, loved your tarot reading for January. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for showing up. I appreciate the love and the support that you guys provide me. I appreciate the beautiful comments, the likes, the subscribes, the shares. If you're a Sagittarius and you're interested in getting a personal reading, send me an email and let me know. My email is treeoflifetarot, the number nine, at gmail.com. I can send you a private link to your own recorded 30 to 45 minute tarot reading regarding any question that you want to ask about. Or I can set up a live reading with you, which gives us a chance to connect over the phone. To look at each other, you can ask me questions throughout your reading. I can ask you questions. So we really go deep. And the answers and the energies that come out, they've been fantastic. So if that's of interest to any of you, I'd love to hear from you. Okay, Sagittarius, you guys, wow, you have such an exciting January to look forward to. I've had Permagran the whole time throughout your reading because I'm excited for you. Love you guys, Sagittarius. Wish you guys the very best. Thanks again.